Hello, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to recover a Cisco router from Roman mode. I recently faced a problem where the router is not reachable from remote via telnet or SSH. Even the router's IP is not pingable, but the router is powered on. So what is the problem? When I connected console with the router, I found that the router is in Roman 1 mode. So how did I fix the problem? Let me show you. From Roman 1 mode, you can give question mark and press enter to see available commands from Roman mode. Few commands are important. First one is boot, the boot using an IOS file. Next is config to change configuration register value. Next is dev to see available devices such as flash or boot memory. Next is dir to see available contents in any of the memories. Next is meminfo to see memory or RAM information. Next is set to set variables. Next is TFTP DNLD to download IS file using TFTP server. And this one is re reset to restart the router. And finally, xmodem to load IS file using the console port or the serial cable. So first I wanted to know whether there is an IS file present in router's flash memory. For that I will give command dir space flash colon and press enter. So you can see there is an IS file present in the flash. I will try to boot using that IS file. It may happen that there is not any IS file in the flash memory or the IS file present is corrupted. In that case you have to download a fresh IS file using TFTP DNLD process. I have a separate video explaining that process in detail. Link to that is in the video description below. I will try to boot using the IS file. I will give command boot space flash colon then paste the IS file name. Don't give space between flash colon and the IS file name and press enter. Router will boot using that IS file. So router booted successfully using that IS file. It will give you a prompt press return to get started. Press enter. It may ask you for username and password if configured and you will be presented using the router greater than prompt or host name greater than prompt. From router greater than prompt type en or enable and press enter to go into router hatch prompt also called privilege mode of router. It may ask you for the enable password if configured. Now from router hatch prompt give command conf space t or config space t and press enter to go into global configuration mode. The prompt change to hostname config hatch prompt. Now give command do space dir press enter. It will show you available files in flash memory. First file is our iOS file. So we need to change the boot path. The command is from router config hatch prompt boot space system space flash colon and IS file name. Don't give space between flash colon and IS file name. Press enter. Next is configuration register value. The default configuration register value on Cisco routers is 0x2102 and on Cisco switches it is 0x capital F. But this router has 10 fast Ethernet interfaces, much like a switch. That is why the default configuration register value is 0x capital F. But right now, the configuration register value is modified to 0x0. That is why the router is going to ROM on mode every time it is restarted. So I need to change the configuration register value. From router config hatch prompt, give command config hyphen register space 0x capital F press enter. So we have done two changes. First, we change the boot path to instruct the router boot from the IS file next time. And we have changed the configuration register value. Then give command do space wr or do space write press enter to save the changes. After that, reload the router. Router should go into router prompt, not into Roman mode. I have written an article regarding this the complete process on my blog which is sujoin70.blogspot.com 
so th this is the process explained in detail you can read the article if you want now i will tell you different configuration register values and their meaning so that's it for now how was the video let me know in the comments below if you like the video please like share and comment on the video thanks for watching see you in my next video